Welcome back. Continuing the news. A primetime news follow-up now on how crime is affecting children in East Kingston. TVJ's Vashon Brown has been speaking to three youngsters from Jarrett Lane on the violence that's affecting that community. Crime said to be linked to a gang feud. Just a few weeks ago, this kind of scene along Jarrett Lane in East Kingston seemed almost impossible. Even in the middle of the day, as marauding gunmen traded bullets, the battle of Jarrett Lane versus Oliver Road. It's especially been a rough couple of weeks for children. I'm staying on my house and then my bus shot. So you know what gunshots sound like? Yeah. What it sound like? Loud and echo. So when you hear the gunshot, they're afraid? No. I'm just afraid that somebody dead. I feel it. My belly starts hurt me because I'm frightened. But them just about to send one bag of gunshots so we can't play water or water. It's a affect me because we all can come up on the road and it's a mash up with some of them things there. It don't affect me to all that much. I just don't like to hear shots. What them they sound like? Like normally when we do both clappers but it more, it more echo. They were looking forward to the summer holidays. In fact, this summer, they say, has been totally different from the ones they have seen before. For this summer break, they had to get used to hearing gunshots several nights per week. So now, they're eager to go back to school come Monday. Normally, when they hear gunshot, people get free and they know and they pick the gun away. Because normally, summer in my community, it's not like... This summer, especially, is not like the rest of some of them. Like the other rest of some of them, we come together, we play, we go out, we keep party, we go, we enjoy ourselves. But now, you don't even know where for go or who for trust, honestly. Things have cooled down a bit in the community, and they want it to stay that way so things can be smooth for the new academic year. I got affected because I've been shot right in our ears, so we can concentrate on work and study. And nobody no can go and run up here for pick me up for go to school and many time and the bus them no go afraid for come up here. Chair of the Violence Prevention Alliance, Dr. Elizabeth Ward, says the nation's children are being negatively affected by the violence around them. Often the children would turn up at school. They are difficult, they are fighting, they are to being withdrawn. There are many ways that you will see the impact of violence on them. And they need circle time, they need talk time, they need um, different types of activities. There's art therapy, there's music therapy, there's drama therapy. Dr. Ward says with children in several violence-plagued communities across the island heading into the classrooms come next week, there is no need for special work with guidance counselors. We're going to have to bring in more persons to help in some of these schools. And we're going to have to work harder on the after-school programs where we take them in small groups and pull them out and help them work through some of these programs. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.